Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, a new day, new topic. And our today's topic is overview of refinery processes. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of fundamentals, engineering, instrumentation and control engineering, deliverables, telecommunication, engineering, procurement, engineering and project career and related videos as well and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is overview of a refinery processes. Introduction to refinery process. What is a refinery? Unprocessed oil is not a very useful in its original form. An oil refinery or a petroleum refinery is an industrial process plant where the crude or unprocessed oil is processed and then refined into more useful products such as petroleum, naphtha, gasoline, diesel fuel, asphalt based, heating oil, kerosene and liquefied petroleum gas. A refinery is a Production facility composed of a group of a chemical engineering unit processes and unit operation refining certain materials or converting raw material into product of value. One can refer simplified drawing shows many of the refinery's most important processes. One can see the distillation tower and where one can see the products or the final end products of the distillation processes and it will go as a product of the refinery. Refineries can produce high value products such as gasoline, diesel fuel and jet fuel from light crude oil with simple distillation. When refineries use a simple distillation on denser that is the heavier crude oil with low API gravity they produce low value product. Today, pipelines, trains, tankers and trucks transport crude oil to refinery where it is transformed into the product where we use every day. And this is how we have tried to cover the introduction of the refinery. Further, moving on to our today's video, we will see the details of each process. Further on understanding of the refinery processes, the crude oil process will be discussed here. The most common way is a process called fractional distillation and the newer technique used in the chemical processes. One can refer the picture where the crude oil refining process is shown where number of steps are given as those are the mainly involved. A is the fractional distillation is used for the separating a mixture of the substances with a narrow difference in boiling point and the most critical step in the refining process. B is the chemical processing. It breaks down or it breaks a longer chains into the shorter one by cracking or by combining smaller pieces to make the larger one that is unification. Here in the picture, first step, atmospheric distillation uses heat to separate crude oil into naphtha, light oil and heavy oil. Second, atmospheric residue is further distilled to extract oil under vacuum condition. Third, heavy oils are cracked into usable products using several processes. Fourth, blending creates the final product. And thanks to the picture which is available on the internet for providing this wonderful process. Moving on to the process of crude oil refining, one should always remember that once the crude oil is extracted from the ground, then it must be transferred or transported and refined into the various petroleum products that have any of the values. And for that, Please refer to the picture below where upstream, midstream and downstream activities are shown. We will see in a brief about these activities. A is the upstream activities. 
involves exploring for a crude oil deposits and the production of the crude oil examples of the firms that would belong in the upstream segment of the industry include companies that own rights to drill for oil example exxon mobil and the companies that provide supports to the drilling segment of the industry example is the halliburton similarly for the midstream activities involves the distribution of a crude oil to refineries the refining of a crude oil into the sellable product and the distribution of the products to wholesaler and retailer examples of the firms that would be long in the midstream segment of the industry which include companies that transport oil by pipeline trucks or the barges example magellan pipeline and the companies that refine the crude oil example is tesoro these are the companies which we have searched on the internet and we have found this typical names c downstream activities involve the retail sale of the petroleum product gasoline stations are perhaps the most visible downstream companies but companies that deliver heating oil or propane would also fall into this category this is how the petroleum oil refining process which are done into the stages upstream midstream and downstream we have reached to refinery processes one can refer to the flow schematic where the crude oil that is desalted to the final finished product is shown in this picture where various processes are involved we will see one by one distillation separating crude oil to fractions of the boiling point ranges making it ready for further processing distillation can be atmospheric or vacuum one can see in a picture where atmospheric distillation where lpg will be by product and vacuum distillation where the vacuum residue will be taken out and further it will be processed to hydro cracking breaking the heavy crude fractions into the lighter products which can be further processed or blended with other stream to give final product cracking can be either thermal or the catalytic type third upgrading or reforming rearranging of a molecule structure to improve the properties and value of the product such as catalytic reforming alkylation and isomerization one can see the picture where this catalytic reforming is shown and similarly the alkylation and the isomerization process where the gasoline is the output shown by the flow scheme treating removal of hetero atmospheric impurities such as a sulfur from streams and blends separating by physical or chemical means for quality control for further processing this is one of the processing where one has to ensure that it is physically uh, separated or make it ready for the quality checks blending combining of a different stream to give a final product with the desired specification and the standard such as gasoline blending and jet and diesel fuel blending after refinery processes now we are moving on to main units of the refinery for understanding on the exact number of units are available in the refinery so as to complete our understanding on the refinery processes first is a crude distillation unit that is a cdu the cdu distills the incoming crude oil into various fractions of the different boiling ranges each of which are then processed further in other refinery processing unit one can refer to the picture the cdu is of one referred to as a atmospheric distillation unit because it operates at slightly above atmospheric pressure the product of cdu include gasoline kerosene light diesel oil heavy diesel oil heavy oil etc second vacuum distillation unit that is a vdu 
further distills the residue oil from the bottom of the crude oil distillation unit the vacuum distillation unit is performed at a pressure well below atmospheric pressure one can refer to the picture where the complete unit assembly is shown the vacuum distillation unit is widely used to separate substance that decompose oxidizes or polymerized at a temperature far below the boiling point at the cdu condition third is the thermal cracking it uses heat to break down the residue from vacuum distillation the lighter elements produced from this process can be made into distillate fuel and petrol crack gases are then goes for the conversion to the petrol blending components like alkylation or polymerization hydro treaters a hydro treater or hydro desulfurization that is hds unit is the process equipment used in petroleum refining to remove sulfur and nitrogen compound from the natural gas one can refer to the picture where this assembly or equipments are shown this is a particular unit and other refined petroleum product like diesel gasoline and jet fuel fifth fluidized catalytic cracker that is fcc fluid catalytic cracking is the conversion process used in the petroleum refineries to convert high boiling point one can refer to the unit in the picture high molecular weight hydrocarbon fractions of a petroleum that is a crude oils into the gasoline olefinic gases and other petroleum product this is how main units we have covered with their picture unit for better understanding sixth separator separation of oil water and gas from crude seventh napta splitter one can refer to the picture where the towers or the columns are shown the main function of the naphtha splitter column is to split the hydro treated naphtha into light and heavy naphtha which is the key function to the naphtha hydro treating unit as it controls the benzene precursors which are then sent to the isomerization unit now moving on to eight reformer reforming is the process designed to increase the volume of the gasoline that can produce from a barrel of a crude oil one can refer to the picture where this reforming unit is shown hydrocarbons in the naphtha stream have roughly the same number of carbon atom as those in the gasoline but their structure is generally more complex type ninth alkylation and isomerization the alkylation unit produces a high quality gasoline blend stock by combining two lpg range molecules to form one gasoline range molecule whereas in the isomerization one can refer to the picture is a simple and a cost effective process for octane enhancement compared with the other octane improving processes where octane to high octane is being produced 10th is the gas treating 11th is the blending pools 12th stream splitter this is how we have tried to cover our today's topic and for better understanding and requirement of a detailed information one can refer to the refinery process complex manual and thanks for watching as we have tried this video after almost 12 years when i started or almost stop uh, working on the refinery uh, engineering and hope this video will help you and keep watching our channel e funda with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel
ifanda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel ifanda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel ifanda thanks watch our channel for new day new topics